Hi Bailiffs, and welcome to the 2021 AMCA National Championship Tournament. First of all, on behalf of the entire American Court Association, thank you. Thank you for agreeing to do this. Your role is vital to ensuring that the entire tournament runs smoothly. This video will go over how to operate as a bailiff within Zoom and detail how the tournament will run for preliminary rounds. Now, just like in years past, this year's national tournament will split all 100 teams between five different pods, Asia, North America, South America, Europe, and Africa. Bayless 2 will be assigned to a specific pod for the Friday preliminary rounds and will not leave that pod. You will stay in the same pod throughout the day. When you first log into your assigned pod, you will be in the main room. The host will be sharing this screen with instructions on how to rename yourself. As you can see, you should add the word bailiff to your name. If you're not familiar with this process, all you need to do is select the participants button at the bottom of your screen, find your name, which should be at the very top of the list of participants, click on more, click rename, and go ahead and add the word bailiff to your name. Be sure to also include your full name. Once you've renamed yourself, the host will assign you to a breakout room. You will stay in this breakout room throughout the competition. Once the host has assigned you to the breakout room, you'll receive this notice. All you need to do is click join breakout room. There may be times when you do not get the pop-up notification that the host has assigned you to a breakout room, and so the host may verbally let you know that you have been assigned. If that occurs, all you need to do is select the breakout room button and this pop-up will come up and click Join Breakout Room. One of the first things you're going to want to do when you enter in your assigned breakout room is to ensure that you can share your screen. On Zoom, this is achieved by selecting the green Share Screen button at the bottom of your screen. And what should pop up is a number of different options to give you to share different screens. If, however, when you select this button, this notification pops up, select OK, and either via group me or the ask help for, ask for help button please notify the tournament personnel immediately that you are having issues sharing your screen once you're in your assigned breakout room you're going to want to open up an internet browser to access a digital timer you can either use google chrome firefox or any other preferred internet browser if you're using google chrome just select the top search bar and look for timer this will bring up Google's built-in timer function. You can also access the website vclock.com slash timer, which also allows you to access a digital timer. Once all competitors, as well as all judges, have entered the room, the competitors will let you know how long each individual speaker will be arguing for. AMCA rules require that an individual speaker speak for a minimum of 7 minutes and a maximum of 13 minutes, and petitioner can have up to 3 minutes for rebuttal. Please note that this should be done prior to the round beginning and prior to any arguments beginning. When the first speaker for petitioner notifies you of their preferred time split, you'll put in that time in the timer. After you set the timer, select the share screen button again. Now one of the first couple screens that should come up is your internet browser. So you'll click the screen that features your internet browser with the timer, select it, and it will begin being shared in the room. Now we do request whether using the built-in timer function on Google or vclock.com slash timer or any other digital timer that you select the full screen option for that timer. Now once you enable full screen, some judges may complain because the timer is too big on their screen. Please remind them this is an AMCA requirement and refer them to the instructions provided to judges on how to resize their screen. When the first speaker is ready and the Chief Justice gives you the go-ahead, the petitioner will begin Chief Justice, Associate Justice, and may it please the court, and the time will begin. The time will continue to count down all the way to zero. You do not need to step in and notify the speaker or the chief justice or the associate justices about the remaining time left. They will be able to see the timer throughout the duration of the argument. 
Please note that once you start the timer during the argument, it should not be stopped at any point, including when questions are asked, unless the Chief Justice instructs you to stop the time due to a judge leaving the argument. However, judges are being instructed not to stop the round when a judge leaves, loses connection. Once the first speaker for a petitioner has finished their argument, if the second petitioner speaker does not have a different time, you do not need to do anything. If, however, the second speaker is requesting a different time split, exit out of full screen, adjust the time accordingly, and then enable full screen functionality again. Once the second speaker for petitioner has finished their argument, you will again exit out of full screen view and reset for the appropriate time for the respondent. Again, typically, respondents will each speak for 10 minutes. The process will be the same for the first and second speaker for respondent. Once the second respondent speaker has finished their argument, again, exit the full screen view and select the appropriate time for the petitioner's rebuttal. Typically, the petitioner rebuttal will be either two or three minutes long, depending again on their appropriate time split as noted prior to the round beginning. Once the petitioner has finished the rebuttal, you can exit out of full screen again and select stop share at the top of your screen. At this point, the judges will turn their videos off while they're completing their electronic ballots. Please note that as a bailiff, one of your responsibilities is to ensure that judges submit their ballots prior to beginning feedback. This is vital to ensuring that the tournament runs on time. If there are any questions at any point during the round or after the round is completed, you can always utilize GroupMe or select the Ask for Help button. Once all the judges in your room have submitted their electronic ballots and are ready to begin feedback, we are asking that bailiffs notify the tournament director and the tournament personnel that the ballots for that room have all been submitted. And depending on which pod you're in, it will be the name or country relevant to your particular pod. So for example, an African country or an African city, European, etc. Please utilize this name to notify the tournament personnel that all ballots have been submitted for your particular break. Once the judges have submitted their electronic ballots, they will give feedback to all individual competitors. After that is done, the competitors and the competitors only will leave the breakout room to return to the main Zoom room of the pod. Bailiffs and judges will remain in the room. Please remind the judges they are to remain in the room as well as yourself throughout the competition. If, however, you need to leave the breakout room to return to the main room, either because of a problem or otherwise need to communicate with the tournament personnel directly, select the leave room option and please ensure that you select leave breakout room and not leave meeting. Prior to the beginning of the third preliminary round, as well as the beginning of each elimination round, a coin flip will be used to determine which team will argue which side. The bailiffs will be responsible for the coin flips. In order to do this, simply open up an internet browser, utilize the Google search engine, and search for coin flip. Have one of the teams call their preferred toss, flip the coin, and whichever team wins the coin toss can decide which side to argue. Once the third preliminary round has ended, all judges have submitted their ballots for that round and given feedback. At that point, utilize the leave room option, leave breakout room, and you can return to the main Zoom room and check out with the tournament directors. If at any point during the rounds there is any problems or issues, again, we're asking you to use the group me function or select the ask for help button at the bottom of your screen. A few final notes. Please ensure that you have the latest version of Zoom client downloaded on your computer. If you're unsure, you can always go to zoom.us forward slash download and download the Zoom client for meetings. Secondly, under the resources page on the AMCA website, available at amcamootcourt.org forward slash resources, is the AMCA virtual tournament guidelines for bailiffs as well as a time cards document. We do encourage you to print out the time cards prior to the national tournament, just in case you're unable to share your screen and we cannot provide a backup bailiff for the round. Again, thank you so much on behalf of the entire American Moot Court Association for devoting your time to ensuring that our tournament runs smoothly. 
Thank you so very much. And if there are any questions, please do not hesitate to ask.